Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back hey. to another episode, episode 17 of Level Up, where we help build your dream practice and live your dream lifestyle. We are Kate and Katie of the Private Practice Startup. And today's question comes from Leanimal. And Leanimal asks, what are the three to four things that entrepreneurs absolutely need to do in their business every day? Such a good question, and I look forward to us diving in. You'll hear from Katie's perspective and mine as well. But first, we just wanna acknowledge Therapy Notes and say thank you so much for sponsoring this series. They are an amazing EHR platform. If you guys are in need, definitely check them out. You can get your first two months for free with code PPS, and you'll see the link for their website in the chat section. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. You want to go first? Or you want me I was to go just going to say, if you want to go first. So I really uh, kind of go on the mindset stuff. And I really think for me, it's really important to do a lot of self-care in the morning, really priming yourself for the day. So one of the things that I've been doing, I've been doing for a long time, but recently I got to actually meet Hal Elrod um, in person and I saw him present and he's going to be on our podcast Yay. Um, October 30th. So I'm not sure when this video is coming out, but anyways, he'll be on our podcast actually talking about the Miracle Morning. And the Miracle Morning has an acronym called SAVERS that we actually talk about in our e-course, which stands for silence, affirmation, visual, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing. Um, so doing one or all of those each day is really important. And in this book, he recommends the Freedom Journal. And I know we haven't talked much about JLD, who's John, John Lee Dumas, Dumas, but he is the, the man who we actually, that's how we started creating our podcast. So we've been podcasting now for th over three yep. years, but the Freedom Journal is really awesome. And I started doing this in regards to really getting crystal clear on my goals. And in the Freedom Journal, you do this kind of 100 day sprint on your goals. So you're, you're writing every day about your focus for the day. So not only do I read and exercise, Meditation, I get in there, but um, those things are really important and I'm utilizing the Freedom Journal right now to really stay focused on my goal and the tasks that I need to do. And I find that I write the task and then I wanna go do it. So it's really helping me facilitate a lot of things. Yeah, John Lee Dumas is the creator of Entrepreneur on Fire and he's got a great free podcast if you guys are looking for a new inspirational podcast to inspire your entrepreneurial journey. Well, if I think about the things that I do for my business, every day, whether it's for the private practice startup or for my group practice in Fort Lauderdale Bayview therapy, I'm always thinking of the three D's. And that is, the first one is do it. So I'm deciding, do I need to do it myself? Second, can I delegate it to my assistant, the client care coordinator, our assistants with, yep, with um, the private practice startup? Or do I need to dump it or delete? Bye. Yep, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> so I'm always thinking about, okay, how can I prioritize my tasks because my time is so valuable um, and everybody's time yeah, is valuable, is right? Yes, absolutely. And I try to finish my work by 5 p.m. so I can be home in the evenings and uh, plugged in in mom mode with, with my son and my family and all of that good stuff. So in order for me to do that, I really have to think through and prioritize my tasks appropriately and think about what is going to move the needle forward? What's gonna move the business forward? What's gonna help me grow and scale? And what are those really important tasks that only I can do? And then anything else that can be systemized and delegated and outsourced, I am doing that. It is something that's really important to be able to decipher. What are those really important tasks that help move the needle forward that you've gotta be involved in, such as uh, marketing or speaking engagements or um, producing content? Those types of things are really important. Um, when it comes to outsourcing things for a private practice, for me, that is all client relations, that is outsourced. Lots of the emails that come in, I'm able to outsource those to my assistant. Uh, finances are outsourced. All the things that are just really time consuming that I don't really love to do and they don't have to do, I am outsourcing them. And then I'm deleting things as well. If it's not something that is beneficial to be focusing on, I'm pushing the delete button and it always feels really freeing to do that. It, and I would say, just to kind of add to that, I know we just like went through this right before we hopped on to record this video. And sometimes, you know, people will email and want to collaborate and, and we, we like are so appreciative and we love to work with so many people. And sometimes you really have to take a step back. So I think a lot of what Kate is talking about and also what I do from the Freedom Journal and I actually have a weekly and sometimes it's a daily of what it is that I'm planning on doing is you have to take that step back and really work on the business, not in the business. Yes. And sometimes 
you have to understand where your goals are at and what you're going towards for this week, this quarter, this year, <laughs> and really see if the things that people are reaching out to you, are you in alignment to them? And it's tough, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's really tough to say no because it you is. love and support people or you're excited about that. But when you take a step back, and we're talking about several different strategies here, and really understand where you're at, you can have a better vision and understanding of what it is that you need to do rather than, than getting caught up in all the minutia. Um, I mm -hmm. know for me, one of the things that I also look at is, you know, Kate talks about moving the needle forward and sometimes I look at what are the tasks that I have to do that are gen gonna generate income in the business and what are not. Or if I don't do them, what's gonna be a consequence to the business? Mm -hmm. And then I apply this to my own kind of self-care and things like that. Like, if I don't get a massage this week because I've been stressed out from the e-cores, it's not gonna be good for anybody, right? Or if I don't go to bed early, like those are really important things to do. So I begin to kind of segment my, my life that way. Yeah, it's just another way of prioritizing. It's really important to think about how you're spending your time and to be really intentional about it because it's so easy <laughs> to open up the email first thing in the morning. Oh, and next thing you know, you've spent like three hours getting sucked into all of these emails that you really didn't need to be doing. No. And there were so many other really important ways that you really could have pushed the business forward had you been more intentional. So we hope this was a really helpful video for you and we'll put the resources in the chat. If you guys have additional questions, definitely look on Tuesday in our Facebook group, uh, the Private Practice Startup Facebook group. Look for the Ask Us post and we will answer your questions there and you might actually end up on our video. So we just wanna say, remember you guys, you guys got, got this. this and we'll see you next time on Level Up. Take Bye. care everybody.